Technology. We wanted to show you guys how to um, graph this uh, COVID data. So the first thing you need to do is go to the um, the CDC website and uh, download the data. Once you do that, it'll download in a comma separated file, and uh, you open it up in Excel, and then um, you're going to choose a state. And um, I, uh, I I would recommend that you go and go um, up here and go window um, freeze panes uh, and if you do that then you'll be able to you know the, the headers will stay in, in in one place so here's Colorado here's Florida here's Arizona South Carolina Connecticut New England or any new I'm not sure what any is Nebraska I guess Iowa NM Kentucky and so I'm gonna go and search for New Jersey and there's New Jersey's data and then um, what we want to do is take the total cases, which is this column, and the date. And so I just select all this data. Um, and then once you've selected all that data, we don't want Wisconsin. Um, you should choose a different state than I did. But um, Command C will copy it. And then uh, you can make a new tab. And Command V will paste it. Okay. And then so I've got this pasted. Now, I don't really think there's a whole lot of point in in, um, in graphing zeros. So I'm going to come down here and get my first zero and um, the date. Oh yeah, I guess um, I also deleted that column in the middle so that to to make uh, you know deleted the NJ column because uh, that'll make it uh, so it's next to each other. And then once you've selected this, then you want to go to um, Insert. And uh, over here at the charts, you want an XY scatter plot. And I'd, I'd choose the XY scatter plot with the smooth lines and markers. Um, and if you do that, then that will give you, you know, you can put in the, the nice uh, labels, but that'll give you a curve that looks like this. And what, what we want to do is look for the inflection point and um, try to figure out you know the one of the things we should be looking for is the inflection point but anyway once you've done this um, then you're going to want to change it also so that we can show um, on a logarithmic y scale and all, all you really need to do to do that is select this axis and right click on it or control click also works and then you want to go format axis and then over here, if you just click logarithmic scale, it'll change it to a logarithmic scale. And then you'll have both of these graphs. And then you can do with that um, what, you, what you want to do, uh, which is um, you know, look at it and analyze for the, the, for the inflection point. And, uh, so that's all I need you to do.